Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. If you are on YouTube, you know who Mr. Beast is. He is like a god of YouTube. He's known for so many good things and so many great videos. And one of the things he uses in every single video is pop-up subtitle. To be honest, to create this kind of subtitle, it's very easy, especially in the new Adobe Premiere Pro. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a subtitle like Mr. Beast with the pop-up effect. So first thing first, make sure you have the right font as Mr. Beast. He uses the font called Comica access if you want the similar font go ahead in the description i put the link go ahead and download it into your computer so that you can use it in adobe premiere pro now select your video and go to window from window you're gonna select text you have this tiny window pop up on the left to your screen click on transcribe sequence premiere pro will take few minutes based on your video length and finally you will have this transcribed video all the text right here if anything is wrong in this text you can fix it here if not then go and click on cc leave the first options as default and then click on captioning preferences change the maximum length in character to 10 and click on the line options as single now you can see premiere pro has created this captions for your video now let's change it to mr b style first select all and go to window essential graphic in essential graphic you're going to change the font to comica access the link to this font is in the description so go ahead and download it if you missed in the beginning now change the size and position as per your like i will change the color to yellow and i will also add a stroke and color to black now you have a text like mr beast but it is still missing the bubble pop effect to add that again select all text file and go to graphic and title select upgrade to caption to graphic basically what you did is you change that caption file into actual graphic file now you have it as a layer you can treat it as a layer select the first text file and go to effect control if you don't see effect control on your workspace again click on window and select effect control First, change the position of the anchor point to the middle of the text. Move two frames forward and create a scale keyframe to 120. Move two more frames and change the scale to 100. And then go back to the first frame and change the scale to 80. Now select all keyframes, right click and select on Auto Bezier. Now copy this effect. To copy, right click and copy. Now the last step is pasting this effect to entire text. To do that, select all, right click and paste attributes. Select motion only. You don't need to paste anything else, just the motion. Now let's play and see how it looks. Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to another easy tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. So there you have it my friends, subtitle like Mr. V. So as always, if you like this video and learn something new, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Maybe they will learn something new as well. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you won't miss any new videos on tips, tricks and new updates like this. I will see you again with another exciting video. Until then, my lovely friends, take care and keep creating.